Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Core Keeper, shall we? You know, I had booted this game up and streamed it when I first got a hold of it in early access. I played a little bit of it, but not very much, maybe an hour or two. Enjoyed it, but uh, moved on to other things. There's recently been a large update unveiled for the game. It's live now, even though we're still in early access with, with more functionality, more things to do. And I just thought, you know, I haven't played this game in a while. I enjoyed it. Let me dive back in and see how the game has changed. I'm going to start a brand new game because I forget how to play. I forget so much of it. It's been a while. And just kind of check in with this game and, and see if it takes hold. So I'm just going to start a new game. And I'm not going to use my old save file. Yeah, it was January. So, you know, five months ago. And we'll go ahead and give ourselves um, a world name that is, you know... Incompetentia. Okay. And let's see. Uh, we can change the icon to... Oh, you know. That looks good. And standard seems like the right setting. And we're going to use a new character. And character type, standard. They respawn after dying. It's the intended way to play. Okay. Now, I guess I could use my old body type, but, you know. This is fine. I don't believe there was blue skin. But we can find something that's close to correct for the hair. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Background, miner, fighter, chef, gardener, fisherman, ranger, nomad, explorer. Well, let's be an explorer. That seems fun. Doctor and Comp, this is fine. And we will be done. So we get... I like Explorer because we get to run. We get like a little lantern and we get some food. So this, you know, just helps me run away, stay alive, eat. Things that I like to do. in a place far away from anywhere else. You are part of a group of explorers making your way through the forest. Feeling a strange presence, you notice something between the trees. Drawn to it, you approach this strange relic and raise a hand towards it. Upon touching its surface, a blinding light engulfs you. drawn into the core and there we are looking around all right i'm playing with the controller okay let me just get my feel for the controls so um x opens your inv your backpack or your inventory um looks like uh y is the map i'm changing things here uh, looks like i have a lantern but it doesn't really I can swing it like a weapon, but is it doing anything? It doesn't feel like it. I have some food. 
All right, let's go ahead and just swing our bare hands and break apart this. Actually, I'm going to look at this. Okay, it's a lantern, plus three glow. It's Oh, it's to be carried in the offhand. So let me put it in um, my offhand slot. Oh, it says no, no. But it told me to do it. Oh, lantern slot. All right, well, interesting it says to be carried in the offhand, and it doesn't go in the offhand slot. It goes in the lantern slot, but this is what I'm talking about. We start with a lantern so we can see better. All right, perfect. And now we can craft things with the wood that we've gathered. So let's go ahead and craft a workbench and, um, you know, a treasure chest, of course. And I'm just going to put the workbench, like, right by this evil-looking alien core. And I'll have it facing uh, this way. And I guess left trigger puts it down. Great. And I'll put my little chest right next to it, too. And I love how this game looks. It's fantastic. All right, let's break some more wood. Let's help this core out. It's got these roots around it. There you go, core. You're free. All right, so I've got a bunch of wood that I've chopped up. And let me just kind of open up my... That's my map. Here's my crafting inventory. And I can make a pickaxe, a shovel, and some torches. So let's definitely make ourselves a pickaxe, put it here. Make a shovel, put it here. So now we have... You know pretty much everything and that we would need and can i use this workbench yes i can and i can make new things with the workbench so i can make uh you know a wooden sword and some armor and stuff so we're gonna just make as much stuff as i possibly can i don't know where to put this i guess this is a, an item to use and then i'll put some of this i don't know how to equip things um let me go to my inventory and put this on my paper doll. Uh, let's see. So this wooden armor that I've got right here, it's a chest piece. It gives you six max health. Gives you four armor, and it's got bad durability. But it's all better than nothing, so I put it on. I love this. I love how it changes the graphics of how you look. Tremendous. What is this? This is food. I'm going to put the food way over here. Um, I don't really want the lumber in this slot. I'm going to put my sword there and these tools here. And let me get some more wood. Oh, I'm gathering it with my sword. Uh, I don't know if that's wise or not, but it's what I'm doing. I'm just clearing out all these roots here. Okay. And let's go ahead and craft some more stuff so I can now make a helmet. I'll just put this in my inventory, and I can make a hoe for gardening, and I could make a floor, I guess, but I don't know how important that is for me right now. And I'm going to put this hat on. And now I've got a bunch of wood armor. How about that? All right, let's go exploring. Oh, mushrooms. Um, but I'm not gathering these like that. The pickaxe gathers them, though. Great. What is this? Gorm the Devourer. Well, I don't know what that means, but usually when people are called the Devourer, it doesn't sound good. Oh, okay, so I just bap this with my pickaxe, and I'm getting dirt, and I'm making the area bigger. You know what I should do is make torches. I kind of felt like for a moment I don't need torches because, um, well, for a lot of reasons, but I'm going to make a bunch. I just felt like I didn't need torches because I have a lantern, and that's not a good enough reason. Because, first of all, these are really bright. And second of all, um, we want to have the whole area, at least I want to have this area, illuminated. Ooh, the lighting effects are really good in this. So I'm just going to put some of these down to get things lit up. So I can just kind of see this whole place. Oh, look at that. My running skill just went up. I didn't even necessarily think I was running very fast, but... Apparently, I'm running fast enough. There we go. All right, let me get my... Can I sprint? Is there a button to... Um, left trigger eats. Oh, if I have that selected. Anyway, um, I guess I'm just fast. Let me just break all this stuff. 
Oh, we got a new item called a root seed, so I guess we could grow that if we wanted. I'm just clearing this whole starting area out. What is this? This is the hive mother. Hi, hive mother. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get these mushrooms taken care of. And let me put a torch up here. And here. And then now I feel like I can see this area very well. And that's great. All right, look at this. How about that? Uh, let's see what I can... Is there anything I could craft now that I couldn't before? Not so much. So I'm going to open this. I don't know if I need to carry, like, root seeds. Um, so, quick stash is... There we go. Okay. I can eat this, so this is good to have. Um, I'll keep this in my inventory. And then I'll keep this in my inventory, but not on my hotbar. All right, so let's explore. So if I open up the map with Y, you see I really don't know much at all about where I'm at or what I'm doing. But I'm just going to pretend like this road leads somewhere intelligent. I'm just going to bat this wall. This is something I noticed when I first played, but I love that the walls kind of undulate like they're jelly when you're mining them. I'm using, yes, I am using my pick to do this. I thought for a second I was using my sword because you could see the the cooldown of your sword flashing on the quick bar, but that must just be like you can't attack for the moment. Now, you see the sparkly up there? I think that means that there is something. So I'm going to dig where possible with the shovel. Oh, okay. And we're going to go ahead and... I'm just going to dig up here with this pickaxe and see what this sparkly area is. And we got copper ore. That's great. Alright, what is this? This is a turf wall. Okay, so it's... Oh, and look. There's a whole area up there that I can see. So let's mark this respectfully with some just kind of light our path can you put this on the wall yes you can that's great you don't have to just set it on the ground you can put them on the wall all right now i have copper ore but i need a way to process it can i interact with this it seems powered down okay and here we go crafting look furnace this standard furnace melts basic metal ores and you just need a bunch of dirt wall which i have so I'll make it, and I'll put it um, right here on my hotbar, and I'll set this down. Uh, just in my little crafting area, sure. And then I want to smell that, and it's making it. And apparently it needs no fuel. That's great. So it's just turning the copper that I gathered into bars. All right, cool. This hallway is too dark. I ain't down with that. Oh, look at the sparkles. You see that? Down there, to the south. I need a better pickaxe. This pickaxe is bunk. That wooden pickaxe is always kind of a, a disaster that you want to get around as fast as possible. Ooh. Ooh, this area is just open. Let's go over here. Plus one mining. How do I see my skills? There's my crafting. There's my character. Oh, wait. Over here, there's like a star tab. Here it is. Skills. Oh, there's a talent tree. Endurance runner. I have a point. 5% less food drained when running. Okay. Buy that. Cool. Look at that. Okay. All right. Awesome. I don't know how I got a... Oh, I have a point in crafting. 6% chance to gain an extra item when crafting any wall, floor, bridge, or fence. Where I don't... Oh, no, I just have one skill level, but I don't have a point. Okay, cool. Well, that's fine. I'll take it. I love that. All right, great. Oh, here's some more information. This is nice. All right, cool. Let's keep digging over here. We found some copper. Now, this room looks like it might have some bad guys in it. I'm not sure. Let me light it up. This is really chill music. Okay, great. And let me use my... I can gather these with the shovel as well. These sh mushrooms. Oh, that mushroom is angry.
Goodness. That mushroom had a lot more health than I was expecting. Um, I can't tell. Is that bottom bar my hunger bar or my experience bar? I'll tell you what. We'll figure it out real quick by eating something. So let me go to my um, inventory. Let me put this food up here. Put these items down here. And that is, okay, that is definitely my hunger bar. I've got all kinds of benefits now because I'm like more well fed. Can I see those buffs in any easy way? Let me see if I can move the cursor over there. Anyway, it looks like I'm getting bonus attack, bonus health, bonus move. I'm gonna run over here. And it looks like this is all done. Let me put some more in here and take this out. All right, and let's see if we can make anything new. I want to make like a better, there's a cooking pot. Here's a workbench. Okay, so this is what we want to make better tools with, and it's going to take six copper bars to get there. That is no problem. Okay. Let me go back to this open area. Uh, let me kind of continue my operation, put torches everywhere. And I see a bad guy there, but I'm not even going to... Oh, boy. Slimies. Okay, that's not ideal. Oh, that's, I already had a torch there. How embarrassing is that? Anyway, um, let's double torch. I always go overboard with torches because I like them so much. All right, I'm going to need to get um, another pickaxe, but I'm just like greedily hoping to get a bronze pickaxe, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen because I'm going to need all my bronze just for the workbench itself. Ow, that guy hit me. Hit me right in the face. Ooh, what's this? Is this somebody's stuff that's, like, left behind? This looks like some... like a wooden table or something. Oh, I broke it. New item, scrap parts. Ooh, we got some tin. Okay, well... I'd say that's a big victory. All right, so there's really sinister looking forces over here. And I'm going to try and just get this lit up first, you know, get some recon work in. These guys are mercifully slow, it appears. I think I has his charge attack and he's going to run. All right, we got slime. This guy jumps a little bit. Alright, take that. We got fungal soil. I mean, who doesn't want fungal soil, I guess? Mushroom guys are really hard. Ow, I was hit in the face. Not cool. Ooh, bomb pepper seed. Alright, maybe I can grow that. Heartberry seed. I've been hit. I've been struck. Mm -hmm. How dare you? I'm in wooden armor. You can't beat me. Alright. And we'll just kind of... Get as much of these mushrooms as we can. Alright. I'm going to go back to base. It's important for me to get back to base... so that I can try to make this bench. All right, we're going to go ahead and... Ooh, I have enough. Or is it eight? I can't remember. No, I can make it. I can make a feeding tray to keep cattle fed. That's hilarious. Salvage and repair station. No, I want the copper workbench. That's top priority. This game has a really cool musical vibe to it. All right. Put that right there. What can I make here? I want to make all of this. Just need wood and copper. All right. And I can make a painted wall, a paintable floor, a painter's table. Cool. Um, 
Oh, there's even... Oh, you can upgrade. So you can be like, hey, do you want to make wooden stuff? Or, you know, I can make a fishing pole. I should probably make that. All right. And then let me see about putting some of these things away. Well, anyway, let's just put away... I don't know if I pull from my chest at all when I'm crafting. We'll figure that out as we go. Um, actually, I probably want the tin. See if I can get this done. Um, I don't have enough. Nope, you can't pull the wood from the chest. Good to know. Get out of here then. Yes, I want that copper pickaxe. I was able to be lazy and not make a, a different one. Love it. All right, let's go. Let's look like more mushrooms are happening over here. I need to stop them. They must be stopped. I need a better sword. All right, we got a little fungal manure. Okay. And let's see, what is it that like makes mushrooms? Can I get can I get rid of all the mushrooms? Ooh, wow, my pickaxe is pretty sweet. If I break all of the mushrooms, is this gonna... Ow. Look, you didn't need to do that. I want to just explain that to you. Alright, here comes this guy. He's in, he's in the huff. water okay well, we'll just put some down here looks like some slime spawners all over the place no problem let me just get my sword out and just kind of you know break some of these you didn't need to do that it was unnecessary ancient gemstone i mean who doesn't want that it's blue so I've got an item that's been green, I've gotten, oh my god, my face. Blue, green, all kinds of, oop, vitality went up. Let's get a torch over here. Boy, this is a big chamber. Alright. I definitely... Okay, I'm being foolish. I definitely need to, uh, can I save it? No, I'm just saving exit. That's not really what, I don't want to. Let's see how they get my health back. Maybe it just comes back over time or something. Can I make like a bed? Over time, mushrooms and shrooms will grow on it. Interesting. base. Oh, here's a bed. Yeah, I need fiber. Okay. I have the lantern. I need a belt pocket. This is good. Well, we want all of that. Glass smelter, copper anvil, railway forge. Oh, goodness. All right, well, we need a ton of stuff. I mean, I can't even believe it. Now, let's look at the map. Can I see? I see sand. I guess I see metal. I don't really have a huge reason to go fight bad guys right now. Maybe I should just um, skip them to get metal. Ooh, look at all this sparklies. Oh, metal everywhere. There's also a pit. Can I fall into that? No, thank goodness. go. Oh, look at all that. That is a ton. That feels great. All right, let me kind of just mark some of my paths. Oh, boy. You turkey. Ooh, look at all that metal. Ooh, there's some stuff over there, too. Awesome. I'm running. 
I'm going to go back. And I'm going to go ahead and smelt as much of this as I can. Get that going. Now, maybe I should start making my own, like, house. I don't know. Maybe I don't know if I need this yet, but a wood floor, a wood wall, and a bridge, a fence, a gate. Hmm. I mean, I can I can start making this, just experimenting. My crafting level went up. How about that? So, what if I want to make like a big clearing for myself to make a house? All right, so over here should be fine. I'll level up my mining skill as well. You know what? We need to eat. Why, you say? Because we want all the buffs active. I mean, I'm talking every single buff. All the buffs. Oh, this is a different kind of wall I'm working through here. All right, got our mining up. Okay, so I've made like a little space over here. I'm just going to put some torches on the wall so I can see. It says, new talent point available in running. Well, isn't that fantastic? Um, let me look. It is. All right, so we can do 10% less food drained. Okay, and then we got something in mining too, which says, bonus to mining damage. How about that? All right, I'm going to build these walls and see how this goes. Uh-huh. Killed the torch. And that's okay. We'll be building a new torch. Gonna kill this torch. I don't know if people care about, or even I care about, what the wall is made of. You know, like if you can just have a dirt wall or what. This game looks great. Look at my little floor that I made. Okay, cool. And then I will put a torch on this wall. And this wall. Now it looks really good. I need some more floor. So I'll make that. And it looks like my copper is all done. And it's fantastic. Let me just make... What can I make? I can make a carpenter's table. Um, but I want probably... A copper anvil a smelter, and these better tools. Uh, let's make the belt pocket. We, we need more space. And then I'm going to make the armor so I can fight. Or the anvil to start the whole fighting process. And I'm just going to put this anvil... All my crafting stuff is going to be out here for now. I'm not too worried about where I locate that. Let me go in here. Let me put on this belt pocket right there. Great. And I got more inventory. Okay, terrific. And let me look in here. Yeah, we need more walls. And I can make a door. I want at least one door. All right, let's see this. I'll put a wall here and here here, here, um, I'm going to put the wall here, and my door, oh, I can't put it where the torch is, let me get rid of this torch, or what, why can't I put down my door, I 
Uh, does it need more space? Let me try this again. Huh. No, it won't let me put it down. But I've got wall. Maybe you need... Do you need to build, like, the wall first and then build the door on top of it? No. Oh, it's... Maybe it's much larger than I thought. No? That ain't it. Well? No, I don't know what it is. There we go. I finally got it. I don't know what it was giving me a hard time about, but we did it. Let me put a torch outside our house. And then, you know, over here as well. I think this looks fantastic. Now, what can I make here? If I want to make um, a sword, I need five copper bars. And then we can make all this armor and a shield even. Oh, this is great. We can make a bow looks amazing just need some wood for that though so we basically have ourselves some base some you know fundamental crafting stuff we have a little house and we're rocking and rolling you know it's like the main thing that we need here is some more copper and i'm excited to get there if i look at the map we can find it we can keep growing and expanding and trying to make ourselves more formidable as warriors and also have some better living quarters and I mean it looks like you can recruit people to live with you like in Stardew Valley I'm, I'm not sure but I'm excited to see everyone I want to know are you playing Core Keeper have you played it are you waiting for it to get out of early access um, do you recommend the game what are your thoughts on this I'd love to chat with you about the game in the comments below because I'm really enjoying it, and um, I'm going to definitely uh, try another episode here. Take care, everybody.